Hey Robloxian, what's up? Welcome back to another amazing episode of Roblox Spot. So guys, in today's video, we are going to discuss when did Roblox come out. Are you guys excited? So let's get started. So keep up with me till the end, comment right below this video, subscribe if you still haven't and turn on the post notification for more videos. Roblox, Dynablox at the time, was created in 2004 by David Bisucki and Eric S. Castle. Currently, the former is the CEO of Roblox Corporation, the company that created the platform. He is also a user called Builderman on the platform. Sadly, Eric passed away at the age of 45 after losing his fight with cancer on February 11, 2013. However, his legacy will forever be imprinted in the minds of children in the form of Roblox, which is more popular now than ever before. The two individuals started working on a video game called Dynablox in a studio in Menlo Park, California, which was released in beta form in 2005. The name of the title was switched to Roblox in 2005, and on September 1, 2006, it was officially released. Initial Years of Roblox Like every other business, the platform started with a modest number of employees, and the count of players it was seeing was also very small. The website was very basic and didn't offer many activities. Thus, there were only a handful of options for character customization and very few games. In March 2007, children under the age of 13 could communicate with other users using predetermined messages that could be selected from the menu, thanks to a safe chat feature that the platform had launched. Initially, the safe chat function was very helpful, given that Roblox was particularly well-liked by kids. This became a crucial element and was added as part of the platform's CoPPA, Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, compliance. Later, a new system based on a list of terms permitted for users under the age of 13, as well as a list of phrases that were banned for users over the age of 13, took the place of the safe chat feature around 2016. The new chat has remained the same since then, but with more moderation. The platform's currency. Tickets commonly known as TIX, is a former Roblox currency that debuted on August 2, 2007, alongside Robux. Back then, players could earn TIX by visiting the website frequently and inviting other users to their in-game place, among other things. The currency was primarily employed for catalog purchases. The platform removed TIX on April 14, 2016. Currently, Robux is the only online currency used on the platform. Its name was conceived by Shedletsky via blending Roblox and Bucks. The avatar shop sells every item that can be purchased on the platform, including user-created content like game passes for Robux. This currency was initially represented by this symbol, our dollar symbol. However, it was changed on November 21, 2019, to a golden hexagonal shape icon. Initially, players could buy Robux on the website. Later, they also got the option to buy it through the mobile application for the platform and through Roblox cards. The cards can be purchased at stores worldwide. Players in the USA and Canada can buy them online. Gamers can also purchase any of the below premium memberships to receive monthly Robux, along with other benefits. Premium 450 at $4.99. Get 450 Robux each month. Premium 1000 at $9.99 get 1,000 Robux each month. Premium 2,000, 200 at $19.99. Get 2,000, 200 Robux each month. Number of active users on the platform. Roblox users can be found in more than 180 different nations. The highest number of active users are from the US and Canada, making up 32% of the platform's population. Together, the US and Canada bring 14.5 million daily active users to the website. The platform's second largest player base is located in Europe, where 13.2 million users are active every day. Europe makes up 29% of all the platform's users worldwide. Asia accounts for 6.8 million daily active users. How did Roblox become a popular gaming platform? The platform was affected by the COVID-19 pandemic in many different, but in a good way. Kids turned to Roblox as a means of communication, as the lockdown had completely done away with real-life socialization. Due to players being compelled to stay indoors, the pandemic significantly increased the platform's revenue and player base. So guys, this was all about today's video. Share as much as you can, that really motivates us to create more content for you guys. 
With this, we end our video. Hope you like the video.